For this problem, I'm going to be using row reduction. And if you haven't seen my 5.3 lecture, I would strongly recommend you to do so. Because 5.3 is one of the hardest sections. And also I've developed a very good row reduction technique. And also that, that in, in that lecture explains the arbitrary and fixed variable, which a lot of students are confused about. So here, first step, I'm going to change that into matrix representation. I'll be trying to get this to a leading one by making this zero. And I'll do that by manipulating negative three times of row one. Negative three times row one is going to be negative three, negative three, negative 12, and negative Nine. Add side by side. Or row one stay the same. Row two is going to come to zero, negative two, negative eight, and zero. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this row by negative one half to go ahead and make this a one. That's going to make this row zero, one, four, zero. Here's one, one, four, three, for row one still. And I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to make this a leading one and get rid of this one. I'll do that by adding negative one times row two to row one. Negative one times row two is going to be zero, negative one, negative four, and zero. Row two stay the same. Row 1 becomes 1, 0, 0, and 3. So this is all we need to get the final solution. Again, as I've mentioned in the lecture, uh, the arbitrary variable means, the, means that it can take any value, and that's going to be represented by the column that does not have a leading one. And this is... Z, the Z column is the column without the leading one. So this one is arbitrary. And these two are fixed. Again, if that didn't make much sense, please go visit 5.3 lecture. For arbitrary variable Z, I'm going to have Z equals Z. For the fixed variable, X equals 3. For the fixed arbitrary for the fixed variable y, here we have y plus 4z equals 0. So changing the 4 over, so this is going to be negative 4z. And this is the final answer. 